Hello there. In this uh, video tutorial, I will explain to you how you can create a website header using GIMP. I will explain how to create a fixed width header in the style of the WordPress theme Kubrick. You can use any nice photograph with a panoramic background. I will open one. So this is a very suitable image for a website graphic and I will first select the region I want to use as the header. So you can see that I choose a nice uh, cross section of this image which will be suitable as a header. Copy and uh, paste as a new image. Now this will be our graphic. Close the original image now. Close without saving. Now you have this image which we can actually use as our website header. We like to make it a little nicer. So choose colors. Auto color enhance in GIMP. Make it real nice. You can see that the colors now. We can also add auto white balance to make the highlights stand out. Now we can see how it looks. Also FX Foundry Photo Enhancements Vivid Saturation. can add a little bit of saturation to this image to make it even more colorful. Now of course, let us now scale this image to a standard size. Let's say 940 pixels wide, it's a nice uh, standard size. Interpolation is sync. So now you have a nice uh, header graphic. So now we want to give this a nice painted effect. Want to make it softer, you can use FX Foundry Artistic Landscape Painter. This is a nice effect that uh, gives it a painted effect. So you can see this looks much softer now, the header. Now of course, you can sharpen it a little bit. FX Foundry, Photo, Sharpen, Luminosity Sharpen. Just add a little bit of sharpening. So you can see that it's now a little bit sharper. Makes the highlights stand out a little more. Now, just adjust the color curves a little bit to make it darker. Now, this looks good enough for our header. So you can use this as the header image. Now remove the alpha channel from this uh, layer so that we can use the rounded corner effect. Filters, declare round corners. Edge radius you can choose 20. Remove drop shadow, add background and work on copy. Corners are rounded now. Now we'll add a border layer to this filter, decor, add border. You can choose a border of 10, 10 by 10, color white. We have the border now. Make the border white color. And now bring this layer to the bottom of the image. So there you have it. Now a nice border layer has been created. Now with this border layer, you also want to make it a rounded layer. Layer, transparency, remove alpha channel. And then filters, decor, 
round corners but before that you want to make this layer a bit larger so layer layer boundary size the height you can increase it to some 247 250 resize the layer image fit to canvas to layer just fill up this with the white yes now that's better you can now make this layer a rounded corners filters decor round corners same settings now you have the website frame this is a nice little frame now we can drop shadow to this filters light and shadow drop shadow make the offset 0 blur radius 10 opacity 90% allow resizing and uh, click ok have a border frame this will be our website frame nice uh, frame for our website you can now choose a background color for the whole website for that you can add a new layer create a new layer with the background color same size of the image and make sure the layer is at the bottom of the image right now we have the whole picture this is the background color you have the image header you have the body of the website and the bottom footer so now we can add a logo to our website click on the text layer make sure you choose the topmost layer I choose harishankar.org select the text make it bigger choose a nice font I choose serif bold italic okay, move this uh, logo to an appropriate uh, position and uh, to give this uh, a nice background you can give this a nice uh, background shadow effect filters light and shadow drop shadow offset of 2 by 2 with a blur radius of 4 25% opacity nice now we have the header this is the final image which we will use don't forget to save obviously I will be saving as and now you can select the individual portions of the website the header first we select the header part of this image edit copy visible edit paste as new image this will be your header image for your new website which you can then use as a header image will require CSS editing now we'll select the frame for the uh, content of the website choose a small thin strip of this uh, frame edit copy visible paste as new image this image will be the frame for the body of the website it's uh, 980 into 12 pixels now for the footer the bottom part of it which will uh, round off our frame choose this edit copy visible edit paste as new image this will be our bottom this will be the footer part of the website to round off the frame and so you have it this is a video tutorial on how to create a website header thank you very much